Hey, what's going on everybody? All right, so if you can see behind me uh, from the last video, there's the fender. Uh, but as you can see, it's uh, painted blue now all around the, uh, the edge. No, I'm not painting the truck right now, but I just want uh, under the hood area to look a little nicer. So I painted this fender, I painted that one, and then I want to actually pull the doors off and paint the door jams and everything with this paint. And then probably the outside's gonna stay flat. I just want the inside to be shiny just like the dash is all like nicely painted. Also gonna get the intake all bolted on. It's on the truck now. Uh, I actually hooked up the, uh, the vacuum line here, which goes to the fuel pressure regulator and to the map sensor. And then it goes into the back of the intake. I also figured out um, the hose for the power brake booster. This is actually a factory, like from a GM truck that the engine came out of. It's off of there. I just have to cut it shorter. So uh, let's get on doing that and get this intake bolted on and get this fender on the truck. Who knows what else we're gonna get into. So uh, stay tuned and let's get to it. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is hook this up. So this fitting goes on the fuel rail here. So there's lots of clearance around all that. Injectors, last injectors over here. So yeah, so that's gonna be good. So I'm just gonna shorten this up a bunch because like I said before, this is from a full size truck. So I don't need all this hose. So I'm just gonna cut it. With these, I had a white one of these on here. Mike said it didn't look good. So I actually found a black one, which I think looks better anyways. I figured it white went with this, but he says no good. that on there and there we go so that's on now so that's nice and like I said this is the this is vacuum line it goes to a T fitting which goes to the back of the intake and then it goes inside where the map sensor is so the next thing we can do is uh, I have all the bolts I painted them so I'll get them and put them in and then torque the intake down and then the intake will be on for good okay so here's the bolts now, I didn't know this before, but I just obviously figured this out. The older style truck intake, this is the bolt from it, and it has this rubber on here. And these are the ones I cleaned up and painted. This is actually the ones from the truck intake. They're the same. It looks like the threads are a tiny bit longer, but uh, it doesn't have the rubber bushing on it. Of course, um, this intake didn't have the bolts, and the other one that I have, it has only like six of them. But then I figure out if I just take the rubber off, then it's the same, other than it being slightly less threads. But I put them in on the other side already and it doesn't seem to make a difference. So these just slide in here and then they have to be torqued down. I think it's like 22 foot pounds or something. I don't know, I'll have to look, but I'll, I'll just snug them down good. I'll just have to take the rubber off this one. Which just comes off with a pair of pliers. It's kind of weird on these that there's uh, there's two bolts there, then one bolt, then one bolt, then one bolt. And those two are like really close together at the very back. Kind of an interesting uh, way to bolt on. And of course on the other side it's the opposite. The two close ones are at the front. Alright, that's it. The intake is on. Just have to torque them or tighten them better. I'll take a look what the torque spec is and then uh, I'll see. Okay, well it says 89 inch pounds. I don't have an inch pound thing, so I'm just gonna snug them up. And then just crisscross the pattern. If I can find, I'm gonna have to go from side to side here. The problem with having the truck up on jack stands. Click, click, and click. And now I'm just hooking up this uh, intake air temp sensor. I already had the wires here. I just had to solder the plug on, which I did. And some heat shrink. I'll have to look for some kind of covering or something to put over these. Or I guess I could just tape them or just leave them. I don't know. So as simple as that. And this just plugs into here. The next thing I'm going to have to do with the intake soon, or 
now or soon or whatever is start to figure out the, uh, the throttle cable. Uh, I just saw on Sloppy Mechanics, Matt put one on and he used the stock um, older style intake bracket, which he said kind of worked, but I think it only held it on with one bolt hole like this one. So I don't know if I'm going to make something that comes off these two bolts and goes down or comes up off these two bolts maybe or something. It's kind of like what I had to do on my car. I had to make one. So uh, yeah, I'll have to think about that now. Everybody's been uh, bugging me about this pulley here that it should be black and not silver, which I tend to agree. So I'm just going to zing it off and then zing it off. Hopefully this crappy gun can get this bolt off. I don't know. Look at that. Got zinged. Got zinged off. I'm just going to clean it up and paint it black. Okay, so as you can see, the fender's all painted, pretty much ready to go on. Uh, what I ended up doing is taking some thin vacuum line, actually leftover vacuum line from the uh, fuel pressure regulator, and I cut a slit in it and put it on the edge here, make it so that it'll butt up nice against the firewall. Also, as I'm putting it on, it won't scratch it. All right, so as you can see, I've got the fender on. I'm a little pissed off because, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it turned out kind of crappy, the paint on the top. Uh, everywhere else turned out really good on the side and everything, just right on the top, of course, where you can totally see it is uh, where it's kind of crappy. So, but I put the fender on anyways. I am gonna just wait till it dries in a couple days and then lightly sand it and give it another coat of paint. I'll just mask off what I need to mask off. And there's Mike. Hey, we're about to live stream. If you guys don't watch every Wednesday, eight o'clock or ish, eight o'clock ish. We're past eight right now, but we go live. Well, there you go. We do a live stream, so you guys should uh, come check it out one Wednesday or every Wednesday. It's usually lots of fun. Getting to be springtime in Winnipeg. Finally. We're actually able to be outside. Outside and comfortable. Yeah. yeah. It's cold. Hey. <laughs> oh, it's on me. Hey. He's in shorts. He's in shorts. <laughs> yeah. So it's getting to be short season, which means cruising and racing season. Portage is so, cleaned uh, up. Portage is getting cleaned up, and that's the cruising street that we uh, go cruising on. So hopefully by this weekend we'll have some uh, cruising action going down, maybe? Maybe. maybe. I'm not going to get too much more done tonight. There's a bunch of dummies here, as you can are see you them out there. No, I'm videoing, not live. So uh, I'm going to continue on this uh, tomorrow. So now it's the next day, I'm out here again. Uh, so my plan today is to uh, sand this fender. So as you, I don't know if you can really, really see it, but it also got some runs in it a little bit. I guess I put the paint on a little too heavy. So I'm going to sand this top. The, everything else is good except right here. So I'm just going to sand it down with some finer grit sandpaper, mask off the blue and whatever else I have to mask off, and then repaint it. I'm also going to paint uh, the hood hinge. i got to take this hood latch assembly off, give it a quick paint job, paint that little uh, opening latch that I made for it, paint that black too. And then I'm going to also look for the front cowl uh, that goes for the windshield wipers up there, get that on, and then... Uh, I don't know what we'll do after that, but we'll get that stuff done first. So the guys are here for Ooh. a uh, happy hour uh, happy drink. Hour. It's Friday. So we got a. It is Friday, yeah. We got a little package from somebody, so uh, we're gonna open it up and. Oh, see I this. already wrote over his name. It was Scott from. You wrote over his name somewhere. <laughs> New York, maybe. Anyways, open yeah. it. Maybe there's a letter inside, <laughs> or a note. I mean. I scribbled out his name because I didn't want to give any. Uh, Details away. Oh no, what is this? <laughs> Hopefully, you didn't cut it. Fart bags! <laughs> nice! Clayton needs those. I don't need Perfect. them. Perfect. Did those make fart sounds? No, it's like whoopee cushions. But no, I, oh, I think they're like, they smell or something. Right? Fart bags. I thought it was pink, like pink juice for a second, it looked like. Yeah, I know there's a pill in there. You pop the pill, oh. and then it fucking. Chemically reacts. Awesome. And they explode. And they Shit. Well, we got them. one for each. We used of to us. use these on the transit we'll, buses. We'll, we'll use these on Fox, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> well, they stink bad. Though. He's not looking. Oh no. <laughs> the liquid ass. The liquid ass. Oh. <laughs> we, uh, oh, that's awesome. Fart prank. Our buddy had that stuff, and we smelt it. That stuff's very bad. Very bad. That's hilarious. Yeah, but it has its uses. Well, we'll definitely uh, real ass. find some things to do with that. Five star service is our goal. Save a buck enterprises. Novelties. Yeah, that must be what it is. No, yeah, yeah but he that, didn't. No, that's that him. Himself. That's him. That's who he is. Oh. Yeah, because it said, it said it before Mike scribbled it out. 
It said Save a Buck Enterprises. Okay. Uh, Perfect. Scott, so this is something. the guy's company. That's awesome. Nice. So we got here uh, eBay user ID, uh, no spaces, Save a Buck Enterprises, www.saveabuckenterprises.com wholesale. That's so awesome. if you, so if you want to get pranks. some fart juice or yeah. whatever, no, you know. novelties, pranks, oh. and gags at silly low prices. <laughs> awesome. I will check it out. Maybe I'll order something. Yeah, cool. Thanks a lot, man. Awesome. Thanks. We can always use some farts. Yeah. Well, not really. We, not we got enough <laughs> farts around here, but you never know when we might need one and there's not one available. So thanks. I smelt it in the air. I knew it. I don't even want to fucking smell. <laughs> you just want to see me gag again. <laughs> I talked to and farted. No? No, but put that away. Mike's complaining it smells like shit over there, so I guess it was uh, a success. So thanks, Sean, for the farts. I got this on, all painted up. Made that spacer. No big deal, that's all done. Uh, I got the hood hinge painted too, but I can't put that on yet because uh, I gotta sand this, so I'm gonna sand this now. Actually, Mike is uh, getting the S15 ready. He actually insured it. So he's uh, he's putting the battery in and putting some air in the air tires out. and air ride stuff, and uh, it'll Start. be on the road. Start it, Mike. All right, Mike's got the S15 running, and uh, he's backing her out. Hopefully without hitting anything would be good. Scuffed it down with a red pad, one of these Scotch Brite pads. You can see now it looks a lot smoother and nicer. So now I'll mask it off and uh, give her a paint job. Right, Clayton? Fuck her in the pussy. Put uh, two coats of paint on, and now it looks really nice. So I don't know why it did that, but uh, it definitely turned out good. So there it is. That's mostly the engine compartment. I still got to put the um, charge tube on here, which is probably the next thing I'm going to work on. Also threw the front bumper on, but I have to take it off because the grill has to go on first. So hopefully I'm going to put the grill on, but I had cut this side. I had cut that side. Uh, and so I want to cut this side so that they match. So I'm going to take a bit of this off and plus someone was asking how I did it. So I'll do, uh, I'll do this one next cut this and uh, smooth it out and get this ready to go on. Mm -hmm. 